Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to solve another general navigation problem. And um, this is the most common mistake that people do in these kind of uh, questions. So uh, let's start. The true airspeed is 220 knots. The magnetic course is 212. The wind is 160 with a speed of 50 knots. And what is the ground speed? So let's start with the true airspeed, which is 220. So we have to put 220 in the center. As you can see, it's already put by me. And then magnetic course is 212. So here where it says true heading, just be careful, it's, it says true heading. But for the moment we have the course. So we go for 212. Here we go, 212. And then the wind is from 160. So we have to look for 160. 160. And it's 50 knots. 50 knots is right here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then most of the people would say, oh, okay, 194. They will say 194, and this is why it's wrong. Because most of the people, they do not correct the heading for the drift. So basically we have a 12, a 12 degree drift to the right. So that means the heading must be put 12 to the left. So we have 212. Oh, my apologies. Oh yeah, 212, and then we have to put it here to 200. So as soon as we have here 200, then we can read the, the ground speed, which is 186. So this is the most common mistake that people do. Final answer, 186. This is the most common mistake that people do. They don't correct for the drift. So, um, with this uh, video, I would like to give you some, some advice regarding the general navigation because it's, it's short, it's just two minutes, so we can uh, use some time to tell you how I did uh, the, the exam. So, my, one of my friends, he advised me, and start with the 30th question because it's all CRP uh, questions. So, if you go with this, you can do everything, all these 30 questions in... in 30 minutes and then you are are le you are left with 100 and uh, sorry my apologies you are you are left with uh, 30 questions and uh, 90 minutes remaining so if you do this you're gonna re release the stress that you have because when you when you start with the first question and if you make some mistakes is the one with the grids over there then you get frustrated if you start with uh, with this uh, crazy maps by the way in the in the real exam oops, in the real exam it's gonna be this size you're gonna get this and i got like i got like four or five of these uh, questions with the big chart and uh, it's good to print it and practice by the way in poland uh, in the polish ca you only have the gsprm uh, charts for flight planning uh, general navigation everything the blue ones that you see in aviation exam forget about it it's history all right, so as I was saying, do the 30, the 30 questions at the back and then you can do the, the, three, the three pointers or the two pointers, the, the maps maybe, then do the theory and then the grids or whatever is hard, I left it at the end. And uh, surpri I was surprised to, to finish everything in one hour and ten minutes. So then I just checked everything and I always... Uh, I took uh, the E6B with me as well, not only the CRP5 with the wind arm. So I cross-checked every answer uh, with both flat computers because I had a lot of time. And uh, that's my advice for you for the general navigation uh, exam. Don't worry, it's not that difficult as it seems when you start studying it. Because for me, I just wanted to pass it. I found it difficult to study. But uh, after I uh, worked my ass off, I, I went... Uh, I went out with 96 from the real exam and I was very happy with, with the result. So don't stress, it is possible, just work every day, don't forget, practice makes it better. And uh, if you think this uh, video was helpful, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram, Patriot Pilot is the username, it's in the description below. And uh, the, that's it, thank you very much, have a good day.